So let's just get all of his eyeballs and things back together and then we can go on to variant sets and that's just going to be a matter of scaling this back down. And I don't mind about the color. So here we have our monster. So what I can do with this monster is I can set different meshes that I can choose at different times. Now these are called variants. So I can make a variant of this mesh and then load that from the USD menu. And I can even do that from the USD menu in Unreal. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna leave the monster here for now. We're gonna use some more of these assets that we've got for the monster. We're going to use the dandelion and the tulip. So let's really quickly, and I'll, I'll maybe speed this up, but I can le I'll at least take you through the first one. What we're going to do is put a different flower as a variant into each one of his ears, uh, exhaust pipes. I'm not sure what it is. So to do that, I'm going to bring in the tulip stem. So just do it over here. I'm going to bring in the tulip flower. And that's fine. And then I'm going to define a mesh for each of my newest mesh. And we'll call this, oops, we'll call this tulip flower. Let's make sure there's no spaces in there. And hook that up. Let's do this again. Break that connection. Make sure we've got our name right. Tulip stem. And then let's just make some colors for these. So the tulip flower, let's have a nice sort of orangey color there. Let's put, put that in an attribute, create node, display color. And we'll just make this sort of somewhere in there, I think. Something like that will be quite nice, maybe a bit brighter. Great. And we'll do the same thing here. But this time we'll just make sure it's a nice green color. Sort of a dark, darkish green there, like so. And then we'll just make another, well, we'll make a group, we'll make a transform. Find USD Prim, there we go, and these guys just go straight to children. One thing we are going to need to do to be able to do, though, is transform that. So I've got these off on one side, they're not hooked up to anything yet. Let's make another attribute, transform, just there, just like that. And if I want to see what I'm doing, I can happily just add this to the stage temporarily. What I might do is, is turn that off so it's not saving anymore. Add that to my stage temporarily. And if we go to wireframe, you can see there's a tulip stuck inside. So we can use the transform now. So we can just get the positions right. Just by eyeballing, it's probably fine. Go back to non-wireframe. Uh, it looks like I've got those, I do, I've got them around the wrong way. So that's actually the stem and that's actually the flower. So let's just flip those around, all good. And then we'll transform this guy so he's kind of sticking up out of one of those exhaust holes that the monster has there. Let's edit that to be Z, I'll pop that there. And that's our tulip. We might bring him back a bit over a smidgen and then just up a smidge as well. So yeah, we've just got a little flower sticking out of there, which is great. And I'm now I'm going to very quickly do the same with the other flower, the dandelion. And I will, what I will do is I will speed up the video as I do it, just to save us all some time. And there we go. So we have two different flowers sticking out of each one. I can now remove these from the display because I've got them in, in about the right place and I'll need to change this to tulip. Cool. So now we've got a tulip and we have a dandelion. Let's make a variant out of that. And before we make variant out of that, I'm going to make a new prim that carries all of the flowers. Well, both of the flowers, I should say. So let's put that into children. Put this one into children as well. And once more, we can have a quick check. We can just drop that into the add to stage. You can have a look at your, no, I'll just change that name there to flowers. You can have a look at your hierarchy here. 
So that's not right. That's not right. And this is what we need to look at. So now we have the monster. There he is. And we have the flowers. Great. It's at the flowers stage here that we want to define a USD variant set. Like that. So here you need to give it a name. So let's call this, like the PowerPoint, flower type. And we need a default primitive or a default variant. So I'm going to use dandelion. And this is, as you can see, what's in selection is the name of this transform. And let's just plug this into a variant set definition, like so. Now, not much is going to happen yet because we need to set up our variant sets on here. So our variant name is Tulip for this one. And our variant set name is going to be Flower Type. This is on Tulip, so we paste that in there. So they both disappeared. And we call this one Dandelion. And paste our variant set name in there. So now you can see some things have happened. The most obvious thing that's happened is that both of our flowers have disappeared and only one came back. And also, if you have a look in your USD proxy hierarchy here, you can see this little V. So there's a little, little arc there and a little green V. And that tells you that this flowers group, which corresponds to this guy, has a variant on it. And you can access it in Maya here. So I can say, no, no, I don't want that. I want the tulip. Uh, maybe I want the dandelion. And it's going to load each of those flowers up as a variant on this mesh. So this is still the same stage, still the same monster, but the flowers primitive has two variants. One for the dandelion and one for the tulip. I'm going to show you how to add something to a stage without actually adding it to a stage. Add to stage. We're going to put this stage down here as well. So same stage. We're going to plug this in. You can daisy chain these. So you can see right now that there's no flowers here because this is not added. If I plug that in, you're still not going to see any flowers because what we'd need to do is put in a parent path here. And the parent path that we're going to put in here, and this will just tell flowers what it's... I've also plugged in the wrong thing. Let's plug in the right thing. You see the flowers will come up. Added to stage two different times, but I could make the flowers a children of the monster without setting up all of this adding children through a hierarchy prim by basically putting the parent path here as monster. And you can see now that the flowers have become a child of the monster, but I haven't plugged this into the children of this. So this is just another way to organize all of that. Now we've quickly looked at that. Let's let's see if our variants carry across to Unreal. So I've enabled it. Sometimes you might have to disconnect it and reconnect it to the output to force it to save. Just sometimes. I'm not saying we needed to now, but we could have. But if I come back into my Unreal Engine, and I'm going to delete that because I want to use the USD stage for this. So if we open Monster USD Week 8, there we go. Now. Little problem is that the shader is not double sided. So you can see the dandelion is there, it just gets invisible. So, quick and easy way to fix that is to grab the asset, and it's all monster. You can see here that we've got, and flowers is orange because it has variants on it. There we go. So, there's our tulip. And there's our dandelion. So you can change which flower is being seen from the Unreal menu as well. And I can take the monster group here and I can, there's the shader that automatically comes in. Display color, no opacity, single sided. Let's actually edit this. We'll actually edit the master thing here. And, and all I'm gonna do is make it two sided. Save it. Give it a minute to do its, do its thing with the shaders. Let's grab the flowers and switch that back to dandelion. And that looks a lot better. So you can see that we can set up a variant and we can set up a variant with anything. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is set up a variant with the actual monster itself. But this is the basis of it. Also notice that when this is set to, where are we? When this is set to dandelion, only the dandelion shows up. When it sets to tulip, both of them show up because tulip is the 
default. But let's double check that, shall we? Make sure I haven't spelt, yeah, I've spelt that wrong, which might be a problem. And that's cool. Let's go back to Unreal and quickly reload. And that's the nice thing. I can just keep reloading until it's needed. So that's set to Dandelion. That's set to Tulip. Cool. And they're all double-sided now. So that's awesome. There's a variant. 